Hi Scorpios. It's been a while. It's been such a mighty long time. It's good to be back. Oh, look, the Two of Cups is at the bottom. All right, so Scorpios, it's good to be back. I love you all so much. I want to say hi to all my new Scorpio subscribers. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. This reading is not going to resonate with every Scorpio. You know, energy is fluid. It's interchangeable. I might be picking up on you. I might not be picking up on any of the energy at all. Okay. okay. The reading is for who it's for. And that's it, you know, and if it doesn't resonate, try your moon sign or try your rising sign, okay? If I did the video or there are lots of other amazing readers out there. Scorpios! What's going on with you? Happy birthday! I hope you had a wonderful happy birthday. I want to say a special shout out to Felice from Evolved Butterfly Intuition. She had a birthday party. Happy birthday. She uh, glued my hair in, too, for um, a soiree. So how do you say that? Soiree, or however the fuck you say that, that I went to. So Scorpios, you know, I took a little premeditative time to look into your cards. And what I saw is that there are some of you who are really moving out of progressive relationships. You know, relationships in which there could have been more than one person involved. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Let's not go there. Not third party, but progressive. You were, some of you could have, for whatever reason, tried it out to see what it was about. And now what I see uh, is that you are at a place in your life where you're feeling like that you know, it doesn't work for you. I see you moving to really traditional relationships. Now, whoever you are moving away from, they do not like your autonomy at all. Whoever you're moving away from, it could be uh, someone who is um, also in a progressive relationship with you because there, you know, uh, it, there was interference there. They don't like your strength. They don't like your autonomy. They don't like the fact that you're putting your foot down and they don't like that they can't change or control you. You're not going to be changed. You're not going to be controlled. You're fixed on this decision and the decision is no. And as a consequence of that, I saw that you got the star and the ace of cups, which indicated that like the universe is going to give you ultimate wish fulfillment as it relates to love because it's going to reward you for the stand that you took with your life by not allowing yourself to be in this situation. I don't think people really knew underneath like how much this situation that you were previously in really like affected you. You hated it. Some of you hated being stuck in that situation. I feel like like with the star, there was some type of healing that took place that enabled you to let go of something that you needed to let go of. And they're just baffled, mystified, dumbfounded, and aghast that you dare have the power and the resilience and, and the strength to leave them alone. Some of them, not all of them, but I saw the Knight of Swords, some of them are really really trying to get you back and they're going to continue to get you back and or try to get you back because irrespective of the fact that they couldn't offer a traditional relationship with you this person cared a lot about you they care a lot about you and they probably will be there for you forever and offer you this progressive relationship because there's something that feels um, like a bond here there was a bond there. But I feel like you are resolute and adamant about not tolerating the fuckery. <laughs> okay, let's be clear. We're not tolerating the fuckery. We're not tolerating it. And I think maybe some of you had tolerated it for years. And this could be somebody that you're dating. Scorpio, you could have been the person that had a progressive relationship with more than one significant other. Okay? Um, or they, your significant other, could have been a situ in a situation that was progressive and it caused you to be in a progressive relationship. I absolutely positively see you not tolerating that. Not at all. In fact, I see you having a meeting of the minds with somebody new that's coming into your life. You could have already met somebody new, right? Because that is what we see randomly. 
They could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with Scorpios for the month of November. Scorpios, month of November. All right, so Scorpios, I'm going to break this into one column, two column, three column, four column. I say first week, second week, third week, fourth week, fourth week. But what happened last month is when I broke it down to weeks for my particular sign, everything happened, right? But it just didn't happen in that sequential order. So just remember that. Oh, Ace of Cups again. Some new love is coming to your life. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or somebody new that's around. Again, there's a meeting of the minds with this person. Something is going to feel type of harmonious about this new love that's either here for some of you or that's coming. All right? Um, I see options for you in the month of... Um, who did we do yesterday? Leo. I see options for you, romantic options in the month of November for some of you. There's going to be different people who are trying to pursue you. One of the main people that are going to try to pursue you um, are the people who you got out of the fuckery with. Like, they're never going to leave you alone. They're going to always pursue you and keep on pursuing you until they make you weak. That's for some of you. Others of you, you are done with the fuckery. They can they can pursue you until they're blue in the face. You're done. Okay, right. It's like, yo, dick wasn't big anyway, bitch. No, I'm just playing. All right, so I see you. You know, there could be different penises that you are, you know, looking at. Some of you have a lot of options and stuff like that. I see a very sexual month like I did for an Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius too. I just am feeling that vibe very strongly. Okay, now I'm seeing an earth sign, a younger earth sign, maybe a, um, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo that you can be dealing with or that you're involved with but anyway Scorpio what I see is a rebirth of love with someone who you're already with or somebody new coming into your life all right the second column is real strong energy around um, money okay and I see you getting some good news regarding finances and I see good news maybe regarding a home or house some of you have a lot of options in the month of November to expand your assets or expand your finances. I see a lot of options that is going to bring money from different sources. Okay? It's not like just an inflow. It's like it can... It, but the two of wands, you got to work for it though. All right? But I do feel like there's going to be a lot of wonderful news concerning money for you. What other type of major energies? <gasps> oh, wow. We have the Hierophant. Some of you are definitely married and you and your significant other are going to be moving to a real peaceful place. Um, I saw this too for the Aquarius, but you could be dealing with the Taurus, right? Um, I do feel like if you are dealing with the Taurus, there will be some communication with one, um, peaceful communication. But some of you are trying to pull, trying to turn your back away from a Taurus. Look, you see how their back is turned? Others of you are going to kind of move rather quietly into a relationship. Maybe it's going to take you by, it might blind you. Let me get some clarification with this. The Two of Cups is at the bottom. Wow. So underneath this Ace of Cups, somebody is in love with you. Somebody is in love with you. And I definitely feel like some of you are definitely married. And I see that some of you are going to be taking a trip real soon. Okay? You could be taking a trip with your wife or a trip with your ex. I mean, excuse me, or uh, your husband. Right. Some of you have money, too, and you have different options on how you want to use your money for the family. Um, but I definitely feel like you're going to be taking a trip with a significant other. Some of you, others of you are moving gradually into a traditional relationship. We have the Ace of Cups with the Hierophant. OK, some of you could be moving into a traditional relationship um, and a commitment by the end of the month. You know, I'm reading for a lot of people. I'm trying to include everybody. I see a strong influence of a Pisces in your life in the month of November. And I feel, wow, Scorpios, this is looking good. So 
If you are single and it's been a dry spell for a long time with the high priestess here, I really do feel like you're going to start seeing someone, okay, in the month of November or very soon. It may not happen in November, it may happen in December, but the energy here of new love with someone that you have a meeting of the minds with, okay? And I feel like you're going to have options, but one of these options is going to be very sincere. They could possibly be younger than you, and I definitely feel earth energy around you. It could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. I do feel like you're going to get some good news regarding money, too. But you get the Six of Swords with the higher font, which means that you're moving to more positive changes towards commitment. And it's like you're going to meet somebody and they may end up committing to you in a relationship. Um, or you are already in a relationship. There was a progressive situation going on. You got out of the progressive relationship and you guys started to deal with having a more traditional relationship with each other. Somebody left a third party behind, and now you guys are established in, in a union. Now, for others of you, you are getting ready to meet somebody maybe that you do not know. And they could have Venus and Aries. They could have Pisces. They could be a Taurus. But this with the Ace here, you don't know them. And with the Options card here, they're going to come in while you're still dealing with this person's energy that you're still getting rid of. They're going to be a, just a peace. It's going to feel like a peace of mind, just a breath of fresh air. Just a breath of fresh air to have this person, you know, in your life. You're going to really use your intuition, your womanly intuition, and it's going to pay off very well. Because, see, I read this as a meeting of the minds. We don't even need to know. We don't even need to look. We're on the same page. So I see you being on the same page. It looks like it moves from a page to the higher font over a period of time. So I definitely feel, and then the final answer here is the Four of Wands, which is um, a wedding. You could be going to a wedding. You could be getting married. There's some type of festivity, some type of celebration that's happening in the month of November. Okay, you could have Leo in your chart. You could be a Leo. Some of you could be getting married, the higher font with the Four of Wands. Okay, it seems as if, Scorpio, you guys are getting ready to meet someone. And you're going to come out of any type of progressive situation to a more traditional relationship. All right. You're going to get some good news regarding money. There might be some type of move. Somebody can see you as somebody who uh, could be moving away or somebody who you would be willing to move for. But I see a beautiful connection with somebody for some of you Scorpios. And it's like, this is the reward that you get for leaving that fuckery behind. Now you get to open up your life to something real, right? Now this fuckery could have come from the family interference or the, between a man and a woman. And you guys have a progressive relationship here. All right, because you allow maybe your sister or your brothers or your mama to interfere or the baby's mama. It could have been a baby mama, you and the man. Just a real progressive situation. No more. No more. All right, Scorpios. How is your person going to be viewing you for the month of November? How is your person going to be viewing you for the month of November? Overall energy from the romance angel is romantic feelings. Leo got that too. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo. All right. Some of them feel left out in the cold by you. Let's see. What are your persons? How are they going to be viewing you or thinking about you? in the month of November. They have very strong romantic feelings for you. They want to, I just want to taste you, kiss you, lick you, love you. Have you guys heard that song by uh, Janet Jackson, Would You Mind? It's so nasty. 
<laughs> all right, Janet. All right, Janet. So this person just wants to taste you, kiss you, touch you, caress you, love you, hold you. They want to do all that. Say that. Say that. They view you as somebody that they're willing to work for. They view you as somebody they're willing to invest in, but they view you as somebody who has cut yourself off from them or someone who's very wise, who's taken a lot of time to, you know, getting to deal with them. But they see, they might, they, they see you as somebody who they might have to distance themselves from. And we're going to find out why. Why do they feel like they may have to distance themselves from you? There could be distance in the relationship, but I feel like they're like, damn, you know what? If only, and I got to find out what that is. And we're going to look at what they are coming from. Where are they coming from? You know what I'm saying? Where are they coming from? What are their next actions going to be? Because I feel like this person, I feel like the person who you're trying to get out of the third party or the progressive relationship with is planning some shit. Mm -hmm. I get that very strong. Like they're like, hmm, let's see. How do I get next to Scorpio? How do I get her? All right. So the battery is getting ready to die. I'm going to finish this uh, at Vimeo. Back at Vimeo. Happy birthday, Scorpios. You know, I love you so much. Anyway, I'm back at Vimeo, you guys. And you can get the extended version of this reading in which we ask, how does this person feel about you? What are their next actions going to be? What do they want to tell you but just can't seem to tell you? And for this particular reading, we're going to ask, what is this shit that they're planning? Look at him. Look at him. Mm, let me see. How am I going to manipulate this situation to my favor? So I think you should be one step ahead of them, Scorpios. Okay. All right. So we're going to finish this at Vimeo and at my website. If you want to see the extended version of this video, it will be in the description box and at the top of the comment section. All right. All right. It's going to say click below for the Scorpio love extended video. Thank you so much, Scorpios, for watching. I'm going to do your reading and follow me over to Vimeo right now. Okay. Love you guys so much. God bless.